Henry Emile Sovich. Henry Emile Sovich, 22 September 1842, in Bologna-sur-Mer, 3 January 1917, in Bologna-sur-Mer, was a French paleontologist, ichthyologist, and herpetologist. He was a leading expert on Mesozoic fish and reptiles. He worked as a curator at the Museum d'Histoire Naturelle in Bologna-sur-Mer, and published extensively on late Jurassic dinosaurs and other vertebrates from the Boulonnais region of northern France. He made important contributions involving vertebrate paleontology in Portugal, describing in 1897 such a Saurus Gerardi from jaw fragments found in that country. From 1883 to 1896, he served as director of the station Aquacole in Boulogne sur Mer. He was a member of the Société Géologique de France. In 1893, Philippe Thomas published the paleontological results of the Tunisian Scientific Exploration Mission 1885-1886 in six installments plus an atlas, including the work of Victor Auguste Gauthier C. Urchins, Arnold Locard Mollusca, Auguste Perron Brachiopods, Bryozoa, and Pentacrinites and Henry Emile Sovich Fish. The plesiosaurid species Lusonix sovagei commemorates his name, as do the crustacean species Pseudonthesius sovagei and the gecko species Bevea sovagei. Works. Note sur les geckotions de la Nouvelle Caledonie, 1878. Bassin Huiller at Permian Dauton at Depenac, 1889-97 with Frederick de Lafond, Mitchell Levy, Bernard Renault, René Seiler, seven volumes. Histoire naturelle des poissons, 1891, in Alfred Grandadier's Histoire physique, naturelle et politique de Madagascar. Vertebres fossiles du Portugal. Contributions à l'étude des poissons et des reptiles du Jurassique et du Crétacique, 1897. Musis municipox de Bologna-sur-Mer, 1898. Articles in the Popular Science Monthly. Amphibious Fishes, in Popular Science Monthly, Volume 9, September 1876. The Archer Fishes, in Popular Science Monthly, Volume 12. January 1878. The Matamata in Popular Science Monthly, Volume 16, March 1880. Biography of Henry Emile Sovage. La Vie et Eloever de Emile Sovage, author Casimir Seppi. Publisher, Boulogne-sur-Mer, Imprimerie G. Hemain, 1923.